Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to my playthrough of Alone in the Dark. Right now, we are truly alone in the dark, so I'm going to turn on my flashlight. Uh, we just got out of some dream sequence, and now we're in a, another film noir location here. Inside someone's office. The writing desk key. Right, 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 right. Now, I believe we ended the last episode with uh, Edward Carnby saying something along the lines of, how did he know about this? He was, he never saw this place. Jeremy did. It was well, better <laughs> written than that, but... That's me, isn't it? Oh, what? Oh, no I didn't even see that. Since I drowned myself in drink and depression, it had all felt so peaceful slipping away into oblivion. A welcoming dark voice wrapped around my mind like a heavy blanket. It turned off suddenly as I woke up from the sound of my office door closing shut. A messenger had left a telegram from Mrs. Saunders. She had a lead on where to find her husband and her kidnapped daughter. Her kidnapped daughter, AKA Grace, right? Now- God, I used to drink so much back then. When was this exactly? What case was I working? I think the uh, VO direction there for David Harbour was to read it like a film noir thing, like, you know, the dame came in and said she had a case for me or whatever. Um, she was she was a striking broad, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and instead he just kind of sounded bored there. So yeah, didn't really pull it off, I would say. Telegram from Gab uh, Gabriella Saunders, sent Christmas, 1928. My husband has returned to steal one of our most valuable paintings. I'm sure he means to sell it. If you hurry, I'm sure you can track him down. Gabriella Saunders. Uh, yeah, so this one it weirdly isn't voiced. Like every single thing in the game is voiced, but this part isn't. Why am I so far over? I swear before I started the, the video, I like centered myself. <sighs> Whatever. Eh. Oh, yeah, please open that. Newspaper clippings. Oh, yeah, philanthropist Teddy Saunders goes mad. Kidnaps child! You see? There he is, Theodore Saunders. He seems like a very serious man. This looks familiar. How am I back at the office? Jeremy's never been here. Oh, well, that's, yeah, that's, what, that's what he said. I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. No, my mistake. First things first. Do we need another thing? Okay, I'll look around. Do I need to open the desk? Is there another thing on the desk? Do we go back out this way? This is where we came in. <clears throat> Yellow. That's how my grandfather used to answer the phone. He would just say a color. Yellow. I'd be like, orange. <laughs> he didn't think that was very funny. Um. Yeah, you guys are like, oh, now that John's a dad, he's been making dad jokes. Nah, I've been making dad jokes since I was a little baby. My first word was a dad joke, actually. So, um, okay, I like, I like sprinted into the room just then. Do we have anything else to put down? Like, what am I missing? I don't know where I'm going first. I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. Okay, well, uh, I don't know. Is there something else I need to open up? Okay, a photograph of a man. Yeah, it's Theodore Saunders. Okay, that's what we put up? Oh my gosh. Mrs. Saunders says her husband has stolen a painting and he means to sell it. Cool. Am I turning these over? Check out Thornhill. Ooh. I have checked out Thornhill. Great band, actually. I remember this case. Some kid got taken by her father, headed out of state. 
Oh, this is kind of neat. He made a mistake by selling a painting that his wife actually cared about to a collector named Thornhill to fund his venture. That's how I tracked him down. At least I think so. This is cool. You know, this kind of reminds me of the game Devotion, the Red Candle Games, um, game? The one that got banned in China. Because it had a Winnie the Pooh joke in it. That somehow made it to the live build. Because it had a similar mechanic where you followed Red String. It was different, but, you know. It just reminded me of it, okay? I'm allowed to be reminded of things. I'm just looking around. Ooh. Ow. Wish you could take those with me. Oh. Nice job. We're back on these, uh... I can't go that way. These mean streets that we were on uh, way earlier in the game, actually. Look out for some Laniapes! Thornhills, here we go. Get me in there! This glass is impenetrable! Oh, that sucks. Wow. How'd this pile up happen? Alright, well, um... I guess here I come. Oh look, this is where I was. But he had principles keeping him from handing out information about the fields. So he needed some convincing. Oh, you roughed him up, did ya? Eddie, you well, roughed him up. Can't be squeaky clean. Uh, why so sheepish, Carnby? Ah! Uh, bullets in the cash register. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Are you a Lanyape? That's the true whodunit mystery. It's it's less about like who's the culprit, and more about where's the Lanyape? Mr. Saunders had sold a valuable painting to Thornhill, hoping the money would carry him to wherever he was going. The painting, now leaning on an easel in Thornhill's bedroom, had a certain mesmerizing gloom that seemed to call out to me, telling me I was needed for something important. I felt myself falling into the painting, only being brought back by Thornhill, thrusting an address to a Hotel St. George into my hand, and asking me to get the hell out. Okay, so... I don't remember this at all. But I can't say it didn't happen. So what about this is not squeaky clean? Oh my god. So yeah, what about this is not squeaky clean? Sound like you were gonna beat him up. <laughs> oh, I looked at his painting. Wait, did he say he beat him up and I just missed it? I thought it was like, oh. I was looking at his painting and then he told me to get the hell out. Not exactly a big tough guy routine. Carnby, we haven't actually, you act like you're some like, you know, I don't do things by the book. Kind of cop, dude, private investigator guy. But we haven't actually seen anything like that from you. You kind of just rolled over for everyone. Now that I think about it. Okay, guys. We gotta do the stealth sequence correctly. Are you ready? Don't even think about doing this incorrectly. Don't even think about fighting these guys. Oh. Now they wouldn't. Oh. They wouldn't put a Lanyapi out here, would they? No way. They wouldn't do that. Do I go this way? Well, over there, it wants me to, like, investigate the thing. Come on. 
I can't go that way. What do you mean you can't? This way? You can't go this way? Oh, there's just like literally just an invisible wall here. It took me out of stealth mode. Go back into stealth mode. Okay. Now I'm in stealth mode. <coughs> you know, I do... <coughs> I do like that it, like, moves the camera out a little bit for that. That's kind of cool. Uh, kind of wondering if, uh... You're making a lot of noise back there, you know that, right? I think we follow this guy. Oh. I assume this is, like, cover. Nice. Okay. I think we've made it. Eh, eh. Oh, this is a train. Looks like a... Oh, I can't pick that up. Okay. Oh, do I go out this way? Excuse you. Anything in here? No. Never mind. I do like the environments here. The kind of foggy environments. It's kind of cool. Anybody nearby? Hope not. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're good. Should I go up in here? But it wants me to go this way. Or is this... What was that? Oh. Oh, candlestick! Hell yeah! Wait, do we want the candlestick or do we want the... We want the sledgehammer, I think. I mean, I feel like this has way more reach. Right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay. In here. The candlestick is a, an inferior weapon to this. 100%. Pistol bullet, thank you. Hmm. Jean Lafitte. Oh, here we go. On my way to the hotel, the Morton gang caught up. I owed the money, a lot of it. I can't remember what for. Probably some dumb gambling debt growing in size for each payment missed. I punched one of them out, and I sent the others packing. It was a stupid move. They'd be back. We okay? Oh, shit. Uh, where's everyone going, bingo? Where's everyone going? Bingo! Where's everyone going? Bingo! Where's everyone? Oh no! These guys suck, dude. All right, you wanna? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh shoot! Let's get them with throwables only. How about that? Okay, run, run, run! It's a throwables only fight. Ow! 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 Oh damn! Okay. We can get this. We can get this. All right. Is there another throwable? I can only use throwables. Huh. Well, wait. Are they dead?
I wish I could pocket this. But I, I basically have to throw it at this point. Oh, I didn't even see you. Well, alright, let's just kill this guy. Yeah. Let's go to the Motel St. George. Ah. Oh. Oh, he sounds so relieved. Oh. Okay. Oh, that plant went crazy. Can I go in here? I'm guessing not. Nope. All right, let's uh, let's go inside. Ooh. Ooh. Shotgun shells. Yeah, fine. Here we go. Here I am. Lanyape, what I tell you guys. It's a curious napkin. This is for a secret objective? I want to know what those secret objectives are. I keep getting forbidden knowledge. Here, look, 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 look. Look at these Lanyapes. Forbidden knowledge, forbidden knowledge, forbidden knowledge, forbidden knowledge. But then this one unlocks a hidden memory in the attic. I'm one out of three. Secret objective, zero out of three. Secret objective, one out of three. Secret objective, one out of three. What? I want secret objectives. That sounds really fun, actually. Yeah. Give me one secret objective, please. Hotel bill. Dated December 21st through 25th, 1928. Well, let's take a look. Single room, $10.25. Can you imagine? That's five. Wait, that's five single rooms. For 10 bucks? Whew. Inflation's a bitch. Dinner. Telegram. Three dinners. I want three dinners sent to my five hotel rooms, please. Actually, that type of person that did, would do that wouldn't say please. Thanks for the shotgun shells you keep in your cash register. Anyway, oh. My bad. I found in the hotel ledger I recognized the handwriting and the signature. Ted Stryker. It was him. I could feel it. It was the kidnapper I was hunting. I put on my knuckles and hurried up to his room. You put on your knuckles? Like your brass knuckles? Are you about to get down and dirty? Or are you gonna like... Something about that name, Ted Stryker, rings a bell. Feels vaguely familiar. Are you gonna flounder at the last second? You don't have a good track record, Karn B. You're not exactly Ray Coro from True Detective Season 2. I mean, yeah. Hey, fellow True Detective fans out there, right? Season 1 was just amazing, and then Season 2 was fucking awful. Anybody remember? Up top? Nick Pizzolatto failed us? This is... <laughs> this is the True Detective Season 2, uh... Support group? I never watched season three, and then season four has uh, Jodie Foster in it, and I hear it's really good. I should check it out at some point. Business card. David Thornhill's business card. Wow. Look at that subtle off-white coloring. The tasteful thickness of it. Mm. It's even got a watermark. I recognize this room, but I didn't catch up with them here. I must have followed them, but where? Yeah, isn't that... I don't know why you're asking me, bud. What am I? Oh, am I making a new uh, thread here? Where's the evidence? No, no, pick up this. The telephone directory. <coughs> DeWitt boarding school. That's where we're going. This is how you solve cases, guys. You pick up three random things on the ground, and then you connect them together, and you're like, Aha! DeWitt. Uh, yeah, contact Mrs. Robin. $350 for the Kingsport painting. Okay. So what am I... I guess I got lucky earlier.
Yeah, I figured we were in the French Quarter. Um, I, I mean, I don't really know. What's in Florida? DeWitt Boarding School, Tallahassee, Florida. Okay, so that's where that is. Thornhill Gallery, right? <clears throat> okay, the th um, well, DeWitt Boarding School. Terceto Sanitarium, New Orleans, Louisiana. No. Uh, That's right. He was running I away, ditching his that. old life and marriage in New Orleans it was like that to find something better in Tallahassee. And he took his daughter with him against the will of the mother. That's why she hired me. But I stopped him. I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. I had it like that for like 10 minutes. And it didn't activate. All right. Oh. Oh, I thought it had an objective? No? Intercept the kidnapper on Pearl River Bridge. Pearl River. This is where I caught up with them. This is what the dark man wanted me to revisit. But I'm where still not go? seeing it. What am I forgetting? I like David Harbour, but... <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe it's just the character. Maybe it's the direction that he was given. It does kind of feel like he was... I don't know. I don't want to say phoning it in, but... <clears throat> I think I was... I think this game could benefit a lot from being a bit more over the top. I guess I'll say that. Right now, it's feeling like an, ex an extremely safe version of, like... What the hell is that? Of, like, Resident Evil 2, kind of? With, like, a noir vibe? I don't know. I guess, I guess it's more like... It it's, it's kind of more like Alan Wake 2 in a lot of ways. But, um, do we go this way or that way? There's like something over here to stop by. I don't know, I don't know which one's the side path. Lanyape? Eh, 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 I knew there'd be a Lanyape in here. <laughs> a profane totem. This is for a goat without horns, which is a, gives a secret objective. Sick, dude. My biggest jump scare. That was like a Bioshock moment right there. You know what I'm talking about if you've played Bioshock. Should play Bioshock on the channel. Actually, I mean, I already played Bioshock on YouTube. My first playthrough of Bioshock is on my, uh... My main channel, John Wolf, and uh, I played it like forever ago. I played it well. I played it forever ago, but I also played it like not when it was brand new. And I, somehow I wasn't spoiled for it, which was pretty amazing. Um, do I wait? Do I go this way? Oh, uh, why they gotta have it covered in red paint like that, huh? So I'm guessing... Wait, do I, do I go? We go on the bridge, don't we? Okay, I just want to make sure that I, I'm getting everything. Why would I go down here? Oh. Maybe I go down... Okay, I'm gonna go back across. Sorry about this. I think when I play games these days, I want to, like, milk them for all they're worth. I want to, like, get... Like, every possible bit out of it, unless I'm just really hating it. I'm not hating this. So I'm still- I'm still trying to go after the Lanyops. And- and... Get it some, like, the ones that give secret objectives, I really want to know what those are like. The ones that give forbidden knowledge, I don't really care about, but you can't really choose which ones to go after, so... Oh, no. 
Yeah, Grace. Keep up. I can't believe I didn't recognize you. I looked a little different back then, I suppose. Was any of this real? How do you mean? This day just... So much is happening. I can't... I think I've lost my head. Do you need me to apologize? I mean... I am sorry. I don't think I need to begin to explain. You, you're just a kid, Grace. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. What happened? Lies. More lies. No, really. I thought I was being a good guy by handing you over to your mother. I didn't know. I, I couldn't have known that she wouldn't care about you. I don't know how this works. What is this for? Some form of admission of guilt. Maybe acceptance. That's what the dark man wants. I guess we just watch my father die again then. You think he's alive? I know he is. He's down there, scared that he won't be able to get out. That he will drown with his daughter again. What are you saying? We gotta save him. We? Do it yourself. I'm down there with him, remember? What? Can I really save them? This all happened so long ago. I have to find a way to get down there. I have to see it with my own eyes. You had to figure out how to there get down. There was a boat at the house where I entered. We'll if just I go can raise the bridge, just I should go... be able to get to the car. Why don't you just go down there right now? <laughs> I mean, it's clearly not deep. Or else it would have sunk by now. Am I missing something? Why don't you just go down there? So I'm a little lost. So, obviously, like... She says she's down there, but he says that he rescued her and turned her over to her mother, who ended up mistreating her. So I guess, well, now I can't find the thing, but the the thing from Mrs. Saunders, her mother, but I guess she just wanted him to kill her husband by claiming he was there must kidnapping be a way her. To save you both, right? <clears throat> Why else would I be here? Maybe the dark man just likes it when you suffer. So I'm back at Dorsetto, but there's no map. I don't know. Don't worry, kid. I'll think of something. I'm not holding my breath. Okay. Well, uh, I know you want me to go back to the boat. I assume there's nothing over here, is there? Well, it looks like we can go up the the ladder right there, and we can go here. It's like, it's like they want me to go back to the boat, but then there's a couple paths I can take here. Okay, let's... We can go off to the side, or we can go up here. Let's go up here first. Oh. It's a hatchet we've already got. Out my way, birds! Wow, they fly really fast and all at once. Great job, guys. Okay. Hmm. This must be where the bridge is operated. Right. So we just. Nothing's happening. It's like something's holding it back. Okay, something's holding it back. Uh, oh, could it be this? I mean... Okay, so... 
can't go off that way. Can I hop down? Um, hello? Man, I'm trying to like fight off the grasping vines. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, I was kind of hoping to, uh, use the melee weapon. Oh my god. I want to use the melee weapon to attack the vines. Wow. Um... <laughs> okay. I was see I was trying to where's the melee weapon? Hang on. I I can't use my melee weapon. Cuz I was trying to use the melee weapon on the on the vines and it, and and nothing was happening. That's what I was trying to say, but everything else was happening, so Anyway, yeah, it, no, oh, oh my gosh, I thought I was stuck for a moment, okay. Oh, do we not, do we not do it anymore? What's the objective? I don't know. It's like we got rid of the vines, so now what? Where? Excuse me. What am I looking at? Run their car off the bridge. He pulled Grace out of the sinking car, <clears throat> but left her father to drown. He could have saved him. There was time. He just chose not to. Instead, he took Grace back to New Orleans and collected his paycheck. Fantastic. Okay. Attack! Attack with the melee weapon! I'm really upset that I can't use my melee weapon. Uh, oh, well, oh my gosh, there's another one of those stupid bat things. Don't attack me, dude! Don't attack me! Hey, you think I won't kill you? You think I'm gonna try to conserve ammo? No way, man. You're done for. You're donezo. Oh my god! Oh, holy hell! What? Oh, if they're underground. I thought they were just like invisible for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. Wow. Okay. We got him. 
Now, please, can you use your hatchet? Nah, there's no way to use it. That's so annoying. Okay, now, unfortunately, there was something off to the side over there that I couldn't... That I couldn't get to. That's annoying. Uh, maybe I can get to it from the boat, though? Because <laughs> there was a side path, and I was like, oh... Maybe I come back here later. Oh well. Gambled and lost. Can you pick this thing up? <clears throat> or are you just like glitched out to not use melee weapons anymore? Yes, yeah, it, it says full. But then when I press the button, nothing happens. Whatever. You guys are familiar with the situation now. I don't need to keep explaining it to you. I just keep thinking, maybe, maybe it fixed. And then it doesn't, so. Oh. For some reason, I thought there was, like, ammo in there. Time to fight a giant fish. It's Del Lago time. You're not gonna save him, dude. He's dead. His little skeletal hand is gonna reach up and grab you. Oh. Well, not skeletal, but... He's going to the sunken place. What is going on? My god, Carnby. Are you okay? Am I? Don't leave me alone. Am I what was in what the, hell have you the been murky doing? bathtub? What's going on here? Look at this mess! I, I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Thompson. Don't make me kick you out of this house. Now get out! So what's playing as her hey, like? Because... Detective, Mr. Carnby, I'm really worried about you. I'm okay. I just need to catch my breath for a moment. This place, it's, there are some very disturbed figures around here, and I don't think it's just the patients. I've been reading some things about how Dorsetto has a deranging effect on people. I think it might explain things. So how are what? you unaffected by it? Just take it easy, okay? I'm going to go find a way into Dr. Gray's apartment. I want to know what he's hiding. Emily? Can I go with you? Don't worry. I think I'm close. I'm gonna set everything right. Just be careful. See, now I have a feeling though that if we play as her, then it's gonna be like the same type of thing though, right? I got an achievement called, I stole the child and let him drown. <laughs> what a great achievement. <laughs> I really feel accomplished right now, thanks. Yeah, that's right, I stole a child and let him drown. <laughs> Yeah! Really feel like... Really feel like I achieved something today. Hell yeah. Is she just in here going, Ia, Ia? Oh, I'm not going in there. She's clearly had enough of me. Ia, Ia, Cthulhu Fatagan over here. What is going on? There's so many objectives happening. Or no. Pay Dr. Gray a visit in his apartment. Why does it sound like a threat? We're gonna go pay him a visit. Um, what's we? It's like it's pink in here. She said, "Ia, don't make me kick you out of here." What the hell? What the hell is going on? And all these are locked too. That's crazy, right? Like I should. Why? Okay. Why is it doing this? Look. Every time I try to open it. Look, like, what is that? It says objectives. But, uh, investigate Cassandra's room, by the way, has been up this whole time. Hey, let's listen to her. I 
Okay, she's she's a weirdo. That's fine. Um, did it change my objectives finally? No, it just says pay Dr. Gray a visit. Well, in that case, um, I mean, we'll go straight and then right. Well, I guess we'll just go straight there. Why has everything got a purple tint? No. Oh, sorry. Yeah, proceeds. Did somebody say that in Perosi's room? He is walking right into our trap. What, who, me? Let's go to Dr. Gray's apartment, I guess. Whoa! Okay. Jody! Detective, am I glad to see you. Lock the door, will you? I don't think Dr. Gray would appreciate us snooping around. What's going on here? This feels so strange. <clears throat> oh, y'all. It's a fixed camera angle. I got an achievement called the past as the present get what you want. Well, are you happy? Yes, it's a fixed camera angle. The game is finally scary. We've waited so long for the game to finally be scary. And now it's here. Myth of the Golden Fleece. It's a hollow book, y'all. Have you found anything? What? Y yeah. Uh, yeah, I've seen some things. Okay. Let me know if there is anything you want to talk about. And what, uh, what are you doing down there? I want to talk about my feelings. You don't find this place strange? Dorsetto is certainly one of the stranger places I've been to. What a fascinating conversation. You're a brilliant conversationalist. I'm gonna... I'll talk to you again. This room feels too real. Hyper real. More than anything I've ever experienced. Um... Okay, I don't see what you mean. Forget it. I gotta get back to breaking the contract. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You basically get three dialogue choices with characters. All of which don't really usually get you that much info. What did you do? I was just... Rearranging the books. I took the one book oh, that's on, in the entire room that's not in a bookcase and I put it in the bookcase where there was a missing book slot. So yeah, that's what I did. I think I'm beginning to understand. Dr. Gray is dealing with some kind of mass delusion. Is he? Maybe he needs a doctor. First meeting transcript. Good to finally meet you, Mr. Hartwood. I'm here on the behalf of your brother, Philip. You were expecting me, weren't you? Yes. You're from the Cerro, no? That's right. I just wanted to ask you a few questions to see if there is anything I can do to help you and your family. I'm so evil. Okay. I understand you're full of imagination. You make up a lot of things. I suppose. And you obsess over them, blurring reality and fiction. Oh, sometimes. Do you want to tell me about the Dark Man? No. No, I, I don't. That's all right. Perhaps there is something else you can tell me. Something you know to be made up, but you hold dear. Juan? John? Who's John? No. Juan Luis Jorge. Oh, wait there a moment. Here, take a look. Is he... Oh, he is the author. Really? I was wondering who Juan is. Um... It's a magnificent book. 
Life-changing, even. The real one is long dead, but I like to think of him as my, my friend. My most beloved friend. I see. Do you often do this? Fantasize about people you read about? No. No. Well, there is Jacob. Who is Jacob? Turn to the last page. Oh, it's a newspaper article. The Prisoner of Ice, Jacob Van Ostart. Is he also your beloved friend? Oh, no, Doctor. Not at all. He is the fire that fights fire. Yes, I think it's clear your overstimulated imagination, this mania, needs to be tempered for you to live a normal life. I know your family calls it the Heartwood Curse, but I want you to know that there is nothing supernatural about your condition. It's all inside your head. And with that, I'm very qualified to deal with. In time, you will be cured. In time, in time. Yes, in time we will exercise all your demons, all the dark men. Please, Mr. Hartwood, calm yourself. What happened? Oh, don't you worry your little head about it, Miss Hartwood. Your uncle and I just had our first breakthrough. Hmm. Evil, evil. Dr. Gray. That mark on the floor looks like talisman positions, but from which direction should I look at it? I don't know. Can we look at some other stuff first? Like the snake dagger? The snake dagger. A monograph. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my gosh. In Ludwig Prinz's book on pagan rituals called The Mystery of the Grave, as translated by Nicholas Vachy, there are several references to a sacrificial dagger called the Snake Dagger. It has long been thought of as a poor translation of the original text. That it would be more appropriate with Worm Dagger from the Latin Vermis Cultrum. This seems natural following the recent consensus that the original title of Prinz's book the Vermis Mysteris should literally translate to the mystery of the worm. However, this would take away from Vahi's great effort at translating the underlying meaning of the words and revealing several cultural beliefs. While Prince certainly was using the term worm as a symbol or synecdoche for death and the dead, which is made clear by the contents of the book, in the case of the dagger, we shouldn't be too hasty to dismiss his translation. Do we have the snake dagger? Reading his correspondence with his patron, it appears that he had more than just the Latin text at his disposal. Vahi had dug up Prin's living relatives and uncovered several cross-referenced historical texts and an actual snake dagger. The dagger was dated to the early Middle Kingdom of Egypt and had such a clear shape of a wave that Vahi considered calling it the sinusoidal blade. Knowing the full story, it seems prudent that he chose to translate it as snake and not worm. There are several reasons why this choice of word helps us understand the pagans that Prin's book attempts to describe. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> I mean, great. I just... I just feel like I've entertained a lot of, like, long notes like this throughout the game that I'm like... Okay, so? What does this have to do with Dersetto? Or the Dark Man? Or Jeremy? Or Juan? Or Tarawea? Or any of the other, like, pieces of lore in the game? Okay. The symbolic value of the shape becomes more apparent when reading about the use for the dagger. In the passage of possession and exorcism, we find the snake dagger poisons the poisoner within the victim and is therefore pacified. Okay. Where the literal text would tell us that the worm dagger trumps the demon possessing the victim, okay. it tells us nothing of their reasoning. Only that somehow this dagger wins against the demon, like it had the better hand in poker. Vahi's translation allows us to follow the underlying logic to the ritual magic that is being performed. Poison the poisoner. Sounds like fighting fire with fire. That to hurt the demon possessing its victim, the priests would have to fight back with a power that is known to the evil they are fighting. 
The snake dagger is therefore not only a good way to describe its form, but it also helps us understand how it could be thought of as a useful tool for exorcism. Finally, it also helps us understand their relationship to lunacy, that it was thought of as something poisoning the mind rather than controlling it. What is also interesting to note is that the possessed are always considered poisoned in their head and not their heart. The snake dagger always went to the eye of the possessed, leaving them partially blind, if they had the good luck to survive. So we stab Jeremy in the eye with the snake dagger and we kill the dark man. Right? And look at that. That's it. This is it. This is the snake dagger. Yeah. So they found this with the Dark Man's contract? That's kind of funny. He was just like, here's my contract. Also, here's how to kill me. You want to kill me? You can kill me by with this dagger that, that you found. I'll, you want it? I'll let you have it. What were you saying about mass delusion? Dorsetto seems to have a deranging effect on people living close by. It has a history of creating cults devoted to some nature goddess. Even the yeah, name Dorsetto refers that. to the cult existing here before the Civil War. Dorsetto was the name of an ancient fertility goddess worshipped in Syria. Dr. Gray and his friends, however, seem to prefer... the black goat of the woods with a thousand young or Shubnigroth. And that name can only have come from my uncle's twisted mind. So Dorsetto is another name for the Black Goat of the Woods. Very interesting. There's a... Oh! Huh. Has that been there this whole time? I don't know. I'm not really sure. Like, was it attached to the mirror? Where was it? Oh, it was up in here the whole time. Dude, you've never been in this room before. I mean, I thought... Yeah, let's talk to her again. I think all of them are in this cult business, even Jeremy. I'm not sure any of them have a choice at this point. We just need to find a way to <laughs> stop all of this. I'll be interested if I end up playing as you, Emily, if you're this calm throughout the game. I've been so busy trying to free your uncle from the promise he made to the Dark Man. I guess I kind of just let everything else go. Don't worry, detective. I feel like we're close. I'm sure Jeremy will turn up. If he is part of the cult, he wouldn't want to miss the Feast of St. John. I just need enough information to make him see the truth. I hope you're right, but I doubt he'll show up. Not as long as the Dark Man's got him hiding. Cool. An empty closet. Answer the phone. I'll get it. Don't worry your pretty little head over it. Come on, David Harbour, get in it. What? It like took over for me there. Can we just answer it? It's gonna go to answering machine. Yeah. I guess Hello? they just ring infinitely, it, it, huh? It can't be. Who is this? Jeremy? Jeremy is with the dark man. You can't save him. Well, I've done everything you wanted so far, and there's just one more thing on the list. I expect him to keep his promise and return Jeremy unharmed. Get out, detective. While you still can. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wait, did the light bulb just break? Oh, the broken clock. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> well now. Oh. Okay, so can you please? Okay, so. Yeah, um, let me take a look at this. Is, uh... 
Wait, do I have it anymore? <sighs> it's the uh, uh, Zodiac thing. Do I have that anymore? Let's take a look in the commonplace books. Book, maybe? Let's see. Yeah, we did that stuff. Tear away, uh... Um... And we've done... All four of the... No, we've done three of those. Talisman, Plates, and Socks. We haven't done that three, five, eight, one. Have we? Oh, maybe we have. Anyway, well, from which way should I look at it? I don't know, dude. I, I only have this camera angle. Is that like a joke at me? At my expense? I don't know what all these symbols are. I guess maybe I can just try to make that shape in the broken clock. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, the clock face? It's a lanyape. <gasps> Secret objective, two out of three. Okay. Ah. Oh, okay. He's so cavalier about it. Okay. Okay, so that's, that's all we did. Yeah, we made it like the thing on the floor. Okay. Now we go back in there. You okay? You look a little frazzled. Just stupid telephone. Emily, no, please come with us. The, police earlier. the telephone is completely dead. It's not... Yeah, no, the telephone isn't working. Will you look over here at literally Narnia opening up before us? Hello? You don't want to go to Narnia and eat Turkish delights? Miss Hartwood, I think you're going to want to see this. Is there something yeah. in the closet? Yeah, there is. You don't see the very obvious gate leading to whatever Jeremy's madness is serving up next? I don't understand. Are you making some kind of fashion metaphor? I'm sorry, I don't have time for this. Can you just tell me what you're doing? You don't see this. It's fine. It's fine. Catch you later. Are you going inside the closet? Yeah. You got a problem with that? No. <laughs> Do what you think is right, detective. Sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to. Goodbye, Miss Harwood. You're not, you're not gonna watch? You're not gonna watch me go in? Are we still in chapter four? Disheartened by his we still are. To make Emily understand what <clears throat> he was doing, Detective Conby actually felt better seeing the frozen hell before him. There was a finality to it. Its clear symbolic opposite to the dark man's desert made him realize this was the end. Is it? Soon it would all be over. Really? Okay. I mean... What am I looking at over here? Oh. I don't think I was supposed to see that earlier. There was like... Uh -huh. I think I could see outside the ship or wherever this is. Oh, okay. I got an achievement. Frenzy. Enter hell. Oh, an ice pick. We need this for the lobotomy. Hell yes. Now I can finally melee again. A flare gun. Oh. Oh, I see. Flares. That's cool.
the Greenland expedition. They found the ancient Stellarium perched on a cliff. See, this is Liam O'Brien. After a day of sailing due north of the Eskimo encampment, Jacob van Ostadt was our most keen member of the expedition. He had been chasing down the source of a peculiar type of crystallized metal present in several sacred items among the natives on the northeast coast of Greenland. And this is the guy that Jeremy was obsessed with. The site with. was a right. remarkable find for any explorer, and we were all enraptured in our search for enlightenment and meaning. The surviving architecture seemed almost unearthly in origin and astonishingly sophisticated. The metal Jacob was searching for was abundant, almost ubiquitous. We were so taken by our find that we were surprised by the sun falling below the horizon. As we quickly picked up our gear, ready to head back to our camp, Jacob von Ostadt declared that he wanted to stay. He was adamant. We begged him to reconsider. The night would be getting colder by the hour, and we feared for all our safety. Jacob refused, threatening us with violence if we wouldn't leave him alone. As the snowfall turned heavier, we left him there on his own. The next day, the weather became worse, and we had to spend hours enforcing our shelter as our tents became increasingly useless. The group had written off Jacob, thinking he must be dead. I had an urge to make one final attempt to save him, so I headed out as darkness fell with a handful of flares and headed toward the coast and up the climb towards the Stellarium. That's when I saw him, transfixed by a burning sky, that celestial lantern. Jacob keeled over and let out a painful shriek that struck me with such fear and pity. He was crying in agony, for the cold weather had ravaged his flesh. I called out to him, and he turned to face me. His vacant stare held me in place like a needle through a butterfly, and he said, You must leave now, Hashtan. Go, and never come back. And so I left. Thank you, Illidan Stormrage. Appreciate it. Um... Sh oh, Sallow Offering. I almost said Shallow. Oh, uh, Forbidden Knowledge. What can be said about Jacob van Ostad without evoking contempt or apologia? The first piece of information is the no, obvious. This is Juan reading this to us. He is not the explorer Jeremy idolized in his youth but the figment of his imagination. If you want biographical facts, I am not the one to answer such questions. In the case of Yermi, he is a guardian of imagination, or rather a persona appointed the role of containing a self-sabotaging mania. However useful Jacob once was, his loyalty to Yermi has slowly been replaced by fanaticism. Like a firekeeper who has for decades been burnt by his own sacred flames, now does what he imagines the fire wants. Yermi has lost all control over Jacob and suffers greatly because of him, but is admittedly also still invigorated by his labor. In the plainest of words, Jacob keeps Yermi sick so he can remain Yermi. Okay. Sure. When we're gonna get some of these hidden attic memories or these secret objectives to drive me crazy, it keeps giving me the forbidden knowledge that I don't care about. I've gotten 11 out of 15 of those things, man. Okay, that thing petered out like immediately. Thought I would try it, you know. Keep going.
the Northern Lights. I want to see those at some point. Yeah, I get it. I'm getting... Oh. I was supposed to use, oh my god, I was supposed to use the flare gun that whole time. And that makes sense. That makes sense that I was supposed to do that. Red means scary, y'all. Red also means we're on the right track. That's funny. I didn't even need it, though. As it turns out, you don't even need to do that. Am I about to, like, fight a boss or something? Hey, you! What are you doing here? What is this place? Turn back, detective. You're not wanted here. Whoa, take it easy. I'm not your enemy. Oh, you're wrong, detective. You're wrong. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, well. Okay, sure. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Let's, uh, let's loot around here. Oh my god, I had so many, like, throwables and stuff. That I didn't end up using. Jacob took a lot of, a lot of hits. He took a lot of bullets. He was crazy. Um, okay, I thought there was more loot. I guess not. We'll go in. Tight lid? Do I use the sacrificial dagger? Oh. Big puzzle. It's a of course, big talisman. Of course. I figured you wouldn't want your stars aligned, Jeremy, or ah, maybe that is what you need to temper that mania of yours. Oh. Okay. I think I'm actually taking the longest possible route to get there. Yeah. There we go. I can't remember which direction it was pointing. Oh, there we go. That's it? Get him, get him. This is kind of cool. Oh, whoa, he killed me. Whoa, he 
killed me really fast. That's like the second time I've died, and kind of the first time not really entirely on purpose. how I couldn't move. Very frustrating. All right, let's try again. God's sake, stay let's go over dead, here. Will you? This, is my, this is my good corner. See, that's good. to do it. with the ice pick. St. John? What were you thinking? What were you doing, buddy? for the rest of the night. <laughs> Come on out and join us, will you? I'll save you some gumbo. Good to have you back. You gave us all a good scare. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Sorry for manhandling you, but you're being violent. You stabbed Jeremy and then punched Dr. Gray. Are they okay? Jeremy's a little strange, but everything's back to normal. Really? All thanks to you, combat. You want to try standing up? Well, 
if it isn't the hero of the day. How are you feeling, Detective? Never better. How about you two? Hey, Jeremy, I didn't do too much damage, did I? Things are fine. Very quiet. What's up with him? Painkillers? No. You see, despite you having the finesse of a one-eyed butcher, you managed to lobotomize dear Jeremy. Uh, I did what? With it's actually pick. quite impressive. It's not like I hadn't considered it myself. I just wish Jeremy could have been helped without reducing his personality to that of an oyster. But he's going to live. Of course. As long as someone keeps feeding him, he'll outlive the best of us. So we strung up the cafe lights. <laughs> we thought appropriate. What the hell? I got an achievement. Back to normal. Break the pact with the dark man. Does Emily know about Jeremy's condition? Yes. She seems to be handling it quite well under the circumstances. Great. Does she still want to take Jeremy away from Dorsetto? I will have to insist that you do. This is not that kind of institution. Okay. Jeremy, hang on for a little longer, okay? We'll be going back to New Orleans soon. Oh, good. I do so miss the city lights. Case I can't believe closed. that. Detective <laughs> Convy had found Jeremy and brought him back to Dorsetto. He worried that Emily wouldn't be all that happy with his performance, considering Jeremy's impromptu brain surgery. Maybe she would refuse to pay him in full. It was the kind of thought that would normally infuriate Convy, but right now he just felt happy to be back. No matter if he would be seeing the $150 or not, he couldn't wait to rendezvous with Emily and go back to New Orleans. Okay. So, uh, so am I correct in assuming that we're like, oh yeah, you can't go anywhere now. That we're like done with the game. You know what's frustrating? This area, can I have the, the mouse cursor? Yeah, so you can see this right. This area I never went to. Look, what, this area I never went to. And what's frustrating is there's all these pink rooms out in like the cellar and stuff that I never went to. I didn't go to the kitchen. I was like locked out of it. But like, how could I have gone to it? This was locked the whole time. I don't know. It's kind of frustrating. And then like, I completed 11 out of 15 of the Lanyape sets, but uh, I didn't get the secret objective. I didn't get the first secret objective. The second secret objective. I didn't get anything from the third secret objective. Um, the hidden memory in the attic I didn't get. Yeah. I guess there's only three secret objectives, but I didn't get any of them. I'm wondering if that's like an Emily playthrough thing. But, because they carry over, right? The Lanyapes that you get, they carry over to the next playthrough. Hey, Ruth. Glad to see you made it back to Dorsetto. She's wearing you too, a mask. Detective. Make sure to stay for the festivities. It's no Mardi Gras, but it ain't bad. Her mask is Edward Carnby from the original 1992 Alone in the Dark. Interesting. You seen Emily around? I saw her packing some things into that old jalopy you arrived in about an hour ago. I'm sure she hasn't given up on you yet. Catch you later. <laughs> Looking forward to it, detective. Okay. You guys are all weirdos. Uh, Mrs. Thompson, what happened to that ea ea stuff? Good to see you back on your feet, Detective. Have some gumbo. Thanks. I'll save it for later. 
You know, I, I interacted with you, like, barely at all. I wonder if you're more prominent in Emily's story. Seems like everyone's in a pretty good mood. The Eve of St. John is the most important date of the whole year. It's the only day when the black goat of the woods tends to her young. I mean, are we still making it out of here alive? Because I... Can I really? Oh, you're blocking it off, aren't you? Yeah. I'm gonna go look for Emily. Don't worry about her. She wouldn't leave without you, would she? Everybody is acting so normal all of a sudden. What are you looking for? Just keeping an eye out for the storm. Radio says it could be a wild one. You don't know where Emily is, do you? She's packing some of Jeremy's things. Said she wanted to take him away. I'm sure she'll come and get you when she's ready. Well, she'll come and get me, huh? Ha! Huh. I guess I'm waiting on her hand and foot. I should probably get a move on then. See you around, compare. Please stop calling me that. I don't know what it means. Um, one impressive tree. More impressive than you could ever imagine. Why is everybody... <laughs> you know, I said earlier when everybody's acting normal, but everybody's acting creepy, actually. So how does this all work? You dance around chanting? For the ritual, I mean? Stay and find out, detective. It might just do you good. I mean, why... Why was Dr. Gray dressed up like the Dark Man? You haven't seen Emily, have you? No, detective. I haven't. Okay. Please try not to act so overtly like you want to murder me. Please. Alright, tell me what the hell's about to happen here. Every year we have a little turn the page ceremony by the tree. It's symbolical. Symbol... It's like life has its cycles of grief and happiness. You know, just like a tree facing the seasons. Things change, but remain the same. Wow. So this is basically New Year's Eve, but with a tree metaphor. Exactly. You're so smart. It's about starting again. I mean... Who could use a positive message like that and mourn a bunch of lunatics like us? Uh -huh. I get the feeling some of you think this year is going to be special. Any idea why? Well, we got some new words, thanks to your buddy Jeremy. And some other changes to the program. Let's just say, we're all in this year. Now, didn't we read? Didn't we read about um, uh, Grace being the goat without horns, right? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So they're gonna sacrifice her, right? Hey, kid. What are you up to? Preparing for the ceremony. I don't want to disappoint mother. What's your part in this? I'm the Cabri San Corn. It's very important. Only I can settle our debt. Okay. You know, I had my doubts, but you are in the right place, Grace. I think you might be right. For once. Hmm. Y'all ever see the Wicker Man? Not the beast! Not that part. Wait, is that the Wicker Man? Yeah, that is. They added that in the Nicolas Cage version. All right, let's wait for Miss Hartwood, Everyone I guess. Knows what to do. Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Both. 
Good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. Is he the goat without horns? Is he the sacrifice? <laughs> That'd be a twist. Hell are their praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Ever Hear the us, us and the 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 and the black black goat of the woods. Take pity on us. Hear us, brother. And take pity on us. Take pity on us. Are you crazy? Yes. Yes. What? Oh. Ah! Jeremy, come with me. Get over here. Jeremy, come with me. Jeremy, come here. No, there has to be a doctor blood. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> This is what I was talking about, but I wanted to go off the rails. Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Can't let that monster leave the okay. I have to stop no, it. No, 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 no. This game just went from being like uh, kind of boring and mediocre to like awesome. That was great. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 uh, see, like this whole time I've been like, if this if this game would just like let loose, then I would enjoy it a lot more. But. Yeah, it finally did, all right. Holy hell. Uh, that was good. That was, no, that was really good. Okay. Oof, where do we go? This way? Um, wait, 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 where are we supposed to go? Uh, Detective Conby returned just as the festivities were about to yeah, begin. Yeah, let's read your rendition. Timothy was grateful that she didn't have to sit through whatever ceremony the people at the Seto had fashioned. Instead, they excused themselves and made their way to the front side of the house. With a tremendous sense of relief, Emily climbed into the car. She watched Combi ready the back seat for Jeremy in the rearview mirror. What a long night, she thought. Thank God it's all over. Huh. Interesting. That's not what happened. Okay, so, I mean, I go this way, don't Okay, so I think I go... How do I go that way? Okay. Game's starting to piss me off a little bit now. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta look at this one over here. There she is. <laughs> uh, all that ER, ER shit, yeah. Well, oh, we go up here. Okay. My bad. It's okay, guys. We got a machine gun. No, no, no get that. You see that? That's just ammo, right? Yeah. 
Are we fighting it on the rooftop? Wow. Okay, sure. Okay, sure, yeah. Seems good. We're finding it in the mezzanine? Oh, hell yeah. See, this is sick right here. This is awesome. It's got hooves, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. We got this.
the dodge is so good, dude. Dodge is really, really good. Ow. Okay. We got him. Yeah. That was a cool boss fight. Why this game got like really cool in this video. <laughs> if only it was like this, like the whole way. The tech oh, What the hell was that? to tell you there was so much evidence their devotion to the black boat was like nothing i've ever seen before i felt so dumb believing any of it but i'm glad i did you didn't believe me when i was ah eh, whatever are you okay everything is out of order this isn't the way the story goes i shouldn't be alive yeah oh you're welcome How are you doing, sweetie? I kind of like it. You ruined everything, but I'm not mad. <laughs> Good. All right, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. We're leaving. Can I come? I thought you said you didn't need saving. Don't leave her. She's important. Of course we're taking her with us. Okay, so... I know, I think like almost every video in the series I've been like, this game's like a six out of 10. And it's leaning more towards a five than a seven, I believe I said at one point. But that that stuff at the end, like kick, kicked it up to like a, I don't know. It, ga it gave like a, it gave it like a full half a point at least. I'm not gonna say it's a seven out of 10. I don't really even like numerical scores, so don't even really put too much stock in what I'm saying about that, but like that that end game sequence was awesome. I wish there was more of that. Like first of all, I liked the boss fight at the uh the mountain summit. The Aurora Borealis Mountain. I like that. And like that was like why why is this my first boss fight, you know? And then it seemed like the game was about to end and I was like, huh? And then that whole crazy scene happened. So like something out of an A24 movie. And then we had like an actual like proper boss fight against uh Derseto. The Black Goat of the Woods. The many names that it has, one of which I refuse to say. <laughs> Although, since it was a tree, maybe we could call it the uh instead of the shub, we could call it the shrub. Anyway. Uh so, um, yeah, you know, I think Alone in the Dark is, is an interesting game in that it's got a very interesting story and then the gameplay holds it back severely. Like, there's so many things, there's so many like little things about the, like the combat that I was just like, why? For example, when you're shooting those little little things, 
on the on the ship in the middle of the woods and, and and you shoot them and it stuns them but then they get like invincible frames until they're done with their animation and then you can shoot them again there was like little things like that throughout the entire game that were driving me crazy there was stuff like you pick up a throwable and you can't stash it you have to throw it from where you find it and you can't put it back that i figured out maybe there's a way to put it back but i i mean i was like pressing every button and it's like once you pick it up you're throwing it if that means wasting it then so be it or you can walk around at 0.5 miles an hour with it attached to your hand until you run into something like there were just so many like little things like that that i just can't wrap my head around why they had in the game and if it was removed somehow then that would be better the dodge was great the dodge was like borderline overpowered once i started using it the fact that that wasn't tutorialized i think is a pretty big misstep um you know you usually press b or whatever to dodge so that's uh it's not like it's like what are they thinking b to dodge unheard of but it's just there's never it's never really told to you to do that um and then if you don't do that you get stun locked by the monsters which was annoying me but once you learn how to dodge it's you you don't get stun locked anymore which is great um the gunplay isn't amazing you, know, you have your classic three gun combo pistol shotgun machine gun uh i think i could have used more nuanced combat than just like point and shoot and then if there's a throwable then you get let's be honest like a random effect if you throw a brick you know you do some blunt force if you throw a molotov and set them on fire then that's the best one but in the heat of the moment you're just like uh I'll just throw whatever this is. And I wish, you know, this is one of those cases where if you could stash the throwable, then you could strategize and it would feel more rewarding than just like, let me just throw whatever I've got near me. And I guess they want it to be more of like an environmental, like natural battle feeling to it, but it just didn't work from a game perspective for me. The dark man uh, gameplay, other than like when you point the gun at them, you point a gun at yourself, which I should have tried shooting him with the shotgun or the machine gun when I saw him in the hallway last video, because I wanted to see what my character would have done in that case, but instead I just ran away, because I figured we'd run to them later. But we didn't. Uh, the dark man was kind of like a red herring a bit. Uh, which is fine, because, you know, the real, uh, villain is the, you know, the black goat of the woods, right? Um, and that was cool. I, I did, I don't know. Anyway, like I said, I, I have no complaints about the story. The story was fine. It's very, like, you can see how it inspired Resident Evil. You can see how it inspired Silent Hill. I'm assuming that this is basically the same, uh, story that they had from the 1992 game more or less I don't know now I kind of want to play the 1992 game we'll see uh yeah I think that it's just just in general the gameplay was annoying um the the puzzles were either like dead easy like that moment where I was like oh it's not a slide puzzle you just pick up the pieces and move it you just make the shape wow um or it was stuff like the number of the letters in these three words is the safe combination and it's four five four <laughs> like you just wouldn't think you wouldn't think that they would use two four letter words if you were supposed to count the number of letters in the words i don't know that just seemed and and the words have no relation to anything i don't know i, I really didn't like that puzzle that safe combination and there were a couple others like that that i was like huh uh it's like they were the, the puzzles were either like incredibly easy or they were like kind of i don't know opaque i guess is what i'll say i don't know there's a lot of like small missteps that added up over time and not enough like crazy shit to overcome it like i 
I would even say I I I might have enjoyed Remothered Tormented Fathers more than this. They're very similar games in a lot of way, a lot of ways, but it's like it's like that game had had like more flaws to it, but it kind of made up for it. And like there was just like crazy shit that would happen on screen, you know. And I think that this could have used a little bit more of that, and instead it played it a little too safe. I didn't hate my experience with it. I didn't think it was... I don't think it's a bad game. I just think it's... You know, I didn't, I didn't think Callisto Protocol was a bad game. You know, I... Everybody acts like I'm, like, so, like... I'm, I complain and I'm, I'm such a hard ass and stuff, but... I feel like I'm too nice. Like, everybody was... Uh, people have... People have described Callisto Protocol as, like, literal garbage. You know? And I'm like, it's not bad. It's, it's just not a good game. <laughs> Callisto Protocol. And I, I kind of feel like with this, you know, it's... I, I actually think this is better than Callisto Protocol. Um, so I feel kind of bad for comparing it to that, but it's just the combat kind of reminds me of that. Because Callisto had, like... The combat just doesn't feel smooth and stuff. And I get that to a certain extent uh, for a survival horror game. Clunky combat has kind of become a trademark of the survival horror genre. Because, you know, you're not you're not playing a badass. You're not playing an action hero, at least not until, you know, Resident Evil 4 rolled around. You're not playing, you know, this, like, James Bond type. You're playing just, like, a regular dude. Somebody who's, like, off the street, you know. And this in this case, it's a private investigator, but come on. We kept waiting for him to, to like, knock some teeth in, and that never happened. He's just kind of, you know, he's a guy. And, you know, you put a sledgehammer in a guy's hand and he's not exactly going to be, you know, pulling spin to win 360 moves with it, is he? He's going to be, you know, just like, like, oh, you know, like it's the, it's Thor's hammer or something. He can barely lift it. Um, so I get having clunky combat, but I think some of the problems I have with the combat in this game go beyond the fact that it's clunky and more like... That enemy had iframes and they shouldn't have, you know? Why can't you move around with the throwables? I know I only- I keep coming back to those two examples, but there's a lot of small things like that that were kind of driving me nuts. Um... But yeah, the high points of the game, I think... The abundance of voice acting was great. Um... Some of the things that were voice acted, I was like, it's an instruction manual. We didn't really need this voice actor, did we? But it was appreciated, like, most of the time, especially on some of those long notes. Um, and, uh, you know, I think they got some good, like, voice acting talent. I was not expecting Paul Mercer. Uh, Yuri Lowenthal, you know, uh, Liam O'Brien. Like, these are big names. And, of course, they got David Harbour and Jodie Comer, right? Which is, like, Hollywood talent. And normally you don't see Hollywood talent in survival horror games, do you? So, that's interesting. I actually am... Well, you know, Callisto Protocol had um, Josh Dumel, I guess, and along with um, you know, Sam Witwer and a few others. But, but typically, you don't really see that. I think part of that comes from most survival horror games were in the PS2 era and, and, and previous, which featured, like, no celebrities. Um, in games back then, no Hollywood actors, and then now it's a bit more common, and survival horror kind of made a comeback. Survival horror, like, disappeared during the 2010s. It basically didn't exist, you know? Um, and so, yeah, I, yeah, now that I think about it, there wasn't really another time for this, so, for this sort of thing to happen. But it's cool to see, you know, I keep wanting to call him Sheriff Woody. What is his name? I'm doing this. I'm doing this. Okay. Sheriff. Uh, Stranger Things. Jim Hopper. Oh my God, Sheriff Hopper. They don't call him Sheriff Hopper though. They call him Jim Hopper, don't they? Or they just call him Hopper. That's why I was sitting there like, Sheriff Hopper is not really what they call him. Plus he's not, he's not Sheriff in all the seasons, just in the first three, I think. Anyway. I do think that David Harbour, although he has a very, like, you know, 
um, intense acting style. We didn't really see it as much in this, and I'm going to chalk that up to direction, maybe? Um, I don't want to believe that he would phone it in, because he, I mean, if you've seen him in Stranger Things, he is, like, on it. He's, like, 110% in every scene. Um, and that's part of the fun of Stranger Things, is watching him just be completely unhinged. And I, I just refuse to believe that he was just like, I'm just acting in some fucking video game. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Dorsetto, block out of the woods. Uh, you know, and it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't quite what I was hoping for, I guess. We'll see what Jody Comer's side is like. Now, before I play another 10 hours of Alone in the Dark or however long it took me to get to this point, before I play another 10 hours of it, I'm gonna try to look into how different um, the uh, Emily side of this is. And uh, I'll post more videos if it's substantially different, but it's just, if it's just like you do the exact same story beats in the exact same order as Emily Hartwood, then I don't know if I want to do it. I am feeling like annoyed about the Lanyape's secret objectives and Hidden Memory in the Attic not being unlocked for me. Ugh. But, uh, you know. I mean, the forbidden knowledge really wasn't worth it. So, if I do play and do an Emily run or whatever, um, I'll probably go through it a lot quicker. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, the jury's out on that. If you have any info, please feel free to let me know, because the next part, I'm not sure if it's going to come in two days or not. Uh, if there is going to be one. I haven't decided yet. Might play something else. We'll see. But yeah, let me know what you thought about Alone in the Dark. Um, I would say this is a... On the high end of mediocre experience for me. I'm glad I enjoyed it. I'm glad I played it, but it's not it's not gonna be on my my game of the year list Unfortunately, just too many missteps too many frustrations too many instances where they didn't push it enough um, But yeah, let me know what you thought and I'll see you in the next video or next playthrough think critically